Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is the brand new Amazon exclusive Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Golden Disc Collection Terrorsaur. This is the one we have been waiting on. So, taking a quick look at the packaging, the front of the box has the final piece to form the golden disc. So if you have all four boxes from this set, you can now form the golden disc. Ooh, that is just so awesome. I am so glad I can finally throw these boxes away. Now, taking a look at the back of Pterosaur's box, you do have Pterosaur in robot mode and pterodactyl mode. So without further ado, let's get this highly awaited figure opened up out of this packaging and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now once you get Pterosaur all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, is very well illustrated and easy to follow. He also comes with a golden disc. Now, this golden disc is the exact same one you would get if you got the Ark. So, no change there whatsoever, though my side B is Dare to be Stupid by Weird Al, thanks to Toy Hacks. You also get these two bladed weapons. Now, these are wrapped in tissue paper, taped behind the insert in the package for Pterosaur. So make sure you do not throw those away. Man, those things are tiny. And he gets a blaster. Now, first thing we're going to do is let's go ahead and attach these arm blades to Pterosaur. And if you flip the figure over, you can see these little ports right there. And that's where these are going to go. And it is hard to get a grip on these because they are so small. But you want to peg these in. Let me move his leg out of the way. That's very seductive. Move his leg out of the way. And you're going to peg these in with the blade facing up. So it looks like that. Go ahead and do the second one. Now, Pterosaur here is a heavy retool of Kingdom Air Razor, and this is an example of a retool done right. I think he looks great, just like he did in the Beast Wars cartoon, because he's really got that gnarly pterodactyl face with all those teeth. And yes, the jaw can open and close. That is some fantastic paintwork right there with the beak, the teeth, red inside the mouth, got the green eyes. He looks really good. Nice articulation there for the head as well. And it can even look left and right. Actually do a complete 360. Now, underneath, he does look like a folded up robot taking a dump, but it is what it is. He's got an impressive wingspan. You can actually stretch the wings all the way out. Those are very well articulated. So get the wings all out like so. And there you go. That looks really good. Lots and lots of molded details on the wings, including the arms and the claws. Paint applications on the back include the spots and speckles. Even has a molded in tail right there. I didn't even notice that at first. 
And underneath the figure, you've got more spots and speckles. Great articulation, not articulation. Man, I can't talk. It's early. Great detailing underneath the wings as well. Now, one thing I had to watch out for with my right wing is this pops off so easy. It was actually banging around inside the packaging. I was worried Pterosaur was broke. I was like, oh my God, because you are not going to get a Pterosaur right now. They are all sold out on Amazon. Now, as I said, articulation for the wings, really good. I mean, they can go up and down. You can fold them in. You can bring them in really tight to his body like he's come to roost, like I had him posed earlier. So I like that. And see, that wing just pops right off. May have to put a little floor polish on that. Down here for the legs, there is articulation there at the knee and here at, well, with a bird, I guess that's... I don't know what you call that. That would be the bird's knee. So you got articulation there. You got rotation with the feet because they're on a ball joint. So pterodactyl mode is not too shabby. You can actually take his weapon here. Now the weapon is red plastic painted gunmetal. And it's got these two tabs on the side. And you can actually take these tabs and pick a side on pterosaur. And you can actually put the wing up and place the gun right there underneath the wing, which I'm not a big fan of because the handle is gonna hit his body. So you can't really do that full outstretched wing. As you can see right there, it's just not gonna work. You can also peg the gun right there on his hip. So you got that look going on, but you don't really see many, many pterodactyls flying around with weapons attached. Actually, you don't see many pterodactyls whatsoever. I would also worry about scraping the paint off of the gun. So that's a look my pterosaur is not going to have. Now let's go ahead and get him transformed into robot mode. Fairly easy transformation. First thing you're going to do is open up the legs, like I showed earlier when I was attaching the gun, and just rotate these down. There that wing goes again. That is annoying. That's the only disappointing thing I have with this figure right now. Now you're going to take the tail section, flip this up, rotate around. So you've got this silver crotch piece facing forward and then just rotate the legs around. So you got the silver knees facing forward, then rotate the feet and get those ankles all the way down. So now you have pterosaurs legs. Now here for the upper body, you've got the arms right here. Just go ahead and pull these all the way out. And there's a double hinge right here at the waist. You're going to bring this down like so. On the back of the figure, take this section, pull back. Go ahead and rotate the dinosaur head around. And you've got pterosaur's head in there. Flip that around. Put the dinosaur head back. Bring it down like so. Now, I wish it would fold flush against his back, but unfortunately, it does not. And I have tried. It looks like it will. Well, wait a second. No, it still doesn't fold flush, but there was another little pop right there and that I didn't realize it went all the way down. So that looks a little better, but I wish it went flush. Go ahead and rotate the arms around. You're going to bring the arms down straight like so. And now, go ahead and fold the wings completely in. I mean, they will fold in nice and tight. There we go. Now, get your piece that popped off. Go ahead and attach that. Bring those all the way down. And now, lastly, you're going to take this upper body section here. Go ahead and pull out and bring completely down where this tip is lined up with the crotch. And there you have Pterosaur in robot mode. And I love the looks of this robot mode. He looks dead on to the TV show, especially with that head sculpt. The head sculpt is fantastic. It's got the evil yellow eyes, the smile. He looks so good. Love the silver right there in behind the chest and for the crotch piece. Got the arm blades. Moving on down to the legs, silver knees silver there behind the legs, and he even has a little Predacon symbol right there on his wrist. Now, 
I like the arm blades, but I wish they were colored more of a metallic red because in the TV show, he didn't have his beast wings attached to robot mode. The beast wings were actually implied that they were those arm blades. So having the wings on his back is a little different, though you can spread them out if you like and give him a unique look. I have seen other reviewers actually take the wings, flip them around so they point up, but considering how these wings pop off so easy anyway, I really don't want to do that to mess up any of those friction joints any more than they already are. So let's go ahead and give Pterosaur his weapon so we can see what he looks like all armed up. So there we go. That is awesome. I dig it. I do wish he had his shoulder cannons though, because that's what he used primarily in the show. And I'm pretty sure there's some third party printing friends of mine who are working on that. Now the blaster, I can already tell by the tip, is not going to be blast effect compatible. Now articulation for Pterosaur, he's got all the same articulation for the wings that he had in beast mode. The head can do a complete 360. It's actually nice and tight. It is on a ball joint, so it's got a little bit of that up and down. Arms can do a complete 360, but they're going to hit the wings. There's an elbow bend, elbow rotation, a extra joint right there, but that's mainly for transformation. No wrist rotation. There's a slight waist rotation. You're going to have to flip this butt flap up in order to get him to rotate a little bit more. The legs can go back or go back, go forward, out, in. There's a knee bend, knee rotation, and ankle tilt because the feet are on ball joints. Now, there is a slight issue with the feet. They are a little loose because Pterosaur is very top heavy, as you can see. So those ball joints may get a little touch up with some floor polish as well. But all in all, I am really impressed with Pterosaur. I'm glad we finally got one. He just won't stand up unless you lean him forward slightly. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is the Golden Disc Collection Pterosaur with Kingdom Beast Megatron, Kingdom Black Arachnia, and Kingdom Waspinator. The Amazon exclusive Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Golden Disc Collection Pterosaur is a pretty good figure. I mean, it's the first Pterosaur figure that we've had in years and I think this figure does him justice. Yes, the wings on the back are a little off-putting because he did not have those in the show, and I guess if you wanted to, since they are attached via friction joints, you could pop the wings off to display your figure on your shelf. Also, it's such a shame about the wing that pops off and those loose ankles, but nothing a little pledge floor care can't fix. So there you go, guys. The Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Amazon exclusive Golden Disc Collection Pterosaur. So, does a Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Amazon exclusive Golden Disc Collection Pterosaur belong in your collection? Absolutely. Are you going to find one? Who the hell knows? Because once again, the powers that be at Hasbro decided to make a mainline figure an exclusive. The rest of the Golden Disc Collection was all repaints, except for Pterosaur here, a figure that everybody wanted and one that sold out, I think, two days after it was announced on Amazon. So, man, that sucks. I have raged against that over and over again. Have yet to understand why the mainline figures have to be exclusives. But if you did order a Pterosaur, you got one on the way, he is a great figure aside from the wing that pops off and the loose joints. I swear to God, Hasbro should include coupons for pledge in their packaging. So yeah, if you have the opportunity to get one, go for it. He's a great addition to your Beast Wars collection. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I want to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's your support that helps keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hello!